All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World, and I'm Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video of rap legend Conejo asking the infamous question, is Chicano rap dead? But before we get into that video, if you guys are new to the Hater World, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like the video, and most importantly, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys like what I'm doing or whether you don't. And salute to all my day ones. You guys already know, nothing but love. <clears throat> but check this out. We got rap legend Conejo, uh... Speaking the infamous question, is Chicano rap dead? Uh, we also got a post by King Little G and a Little Rob reference. Uh, but check this out. Before we get into this video, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do so at The Hater World. And also follow uh, our other pages, The Hater World Bits and Southside Stories. Down in the description, you got some links. But other than that, uh, I don't want to hold you guys too long. Let's go ahead and watch this video. And get you guys a Southsiders reaction. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, y'all? This this segment right here is gonna be about basically if um Chicano rap's really dead. That's what my boy Prime said. That Chicano rap is dead, and 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 also this is gonna be about who is the fucking Chicano Chicano rap king. Check this out. Before we play the video, I want everybody watching. To understand that what you're going to hear right now is my critique, right? Uh, what I think of this video, Chicano rap and whatever he's talking about, right? Uh, it is my two cents. It is my reaction, not yours. You might agree. You might not agree. You know, and I only say this because I know that in Chicano rap, there is a lot of egos. There is a lot of people that don't understand what criticism is. They don't understand what reactions are. They don't understand uh, what my two cents are. You know, uh, so before anybody gets in their feelings, which tell you the truth, I don't give a fuck. But it's just for the purposes of uh, not wanting to start some beef, I'm letting you guys know right now, this is what I think. You know, whether you like it or not, I truly don't give a fuck. All right? Uh, but let's keep going. So basically, let me, let me start by saying this. Me growing up on the West Side, we never fucking used that word, Chicano. I never even heard that word. I never heard none of the, like the OG, los veteranos and harpies. Never used that word. Never. I, I, La neta, I don't think I heard that word till I was like 19, 18, 19 in the county. That I was there for like a year and then... Then when I, I, I think I really heard it when I went to prison. I'm talking about 94, 95. You know, I started seeing the homies with like brown pride tattoos and get, and get things like that. And I seen the Norteños with the Huelga bird and me asking all these things. And, and, and that's how the word Chicano came about to me. Check this out. Uh, recently, I got a lot of flack for saying the word paisa, right? Uh, there's videos that you can go watch where I say my paisa homie or paisa this, paisa that. And believe it or not, people go and try to roast me calling me a paisa. But I say that to say this. The word Chicano, what it means to me is, okay, so if you're born in the States, your family's born in Mexico, your dad and your mom, and you're born in the States, that makes them full-blooded Mexican, it makes you a Chicano, right? Because you're part American, uh, part Mexican. Okay, uh, that's what a Chicano is to me. Now, a paisa to me, what I look at it like the paisa homie, what I look at that word when I when I say that word and I think of that uh, paisa homie, what I'm thinking is this. The dad and mom are born in Mexico. The homie is also born in Mexico, but he's brought over here and now he intermingles with with, you know, Southsiders, Chicanos, you know, regular Americans, all of that. Right. But he was born in Mexico. Okay, along with the parents. A Chicano, parents were born in Mexico, but you were born in the U.S. Okay, that, that's when I say my paisa homie, I'm thinking of somebody that was born in Mexico and brought over here. Simple and plain. No disrespect. Uh, there's nothing uh, bad that you can say about paisas. That's just the way that I could say me and a bunch of homies look at it. You know, and, and there's a lot of people in the comments that can probably agree and a lot that probably don't agree. So when motherfuckers call me a paisa, I'm like, maybe I sound like one, but I'm not a paisa. You know what I mean? I was born here and my parents were born in Mexico. So it sort of makes me a Chicano if you want to put that label on me. Uh, but I don't label myself anything. You know, I label myself a Mexican-American. Simple and plain, you know. Uh, 
But let's keep going. But really, like, I never, like I said, I'm from the West Side. It's a little bit different. Like, I never heard none of the homies talking about Chicano. I still <clears throat> never hear the homies talking about Chicano. None of the homies from the hood use that word that I, that I know about, you know? And, um, you know, basically, um, so here I come. I come along doing my music shit. And when I came along, esa palabra ni existía. None of that shit existed. You know, I, I, I was in the underground scene, like the rap battle scene and shit like that. What fools would call like the backpacker scene. And, and that name wasn't even around. You know, it was just underground hip hop shit and bars and beats and, and shit like that, you know? So, so check this out. I never considered Conejo to be like a uh, Chicano rapper. Every time that I heard his music back in the day, uh, I always thought he was gangster as fuck, right? When it comes to the lyrics, uh, the metaphors, the things he says, you know, it, he didn't come off as like a uh, ABC rhymer. You know, when I think of Chicano rap, believe it or not, I think of like ABC rhymes. I think of like uh, the same old basic shit, you know, the, the whole look, you know, it, it's just, that's what comes to my mind, you know. Is that what it is? No, but, you know, the few that have made it big has have left that impression on the rest of us, right? Conejo always seemed like that underground uh, New York subway rapper. Believe it or not, that's what he seemed like with the metaphors and the and the lyrics and the crazy words that he uses. He never really stuck into, like, the ABC rhyme, one, two, three, Chicano rappers, blah, 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 you know. Uh, but at least that was what it seemed like to me. Let's keep going. You know, and then as that word, see, look, I'm going to go back to what I said in that last video that the homie Kirk from the Compton Swami, how his mom, he says that his mom, like, I guess coined the phrase because Frost went over there and she said, look, <clears throat> this little section right here is going to be for Mexican rap. And Frost basically... In other words, said that he didn't identify as being um, uh, Mexican, that he was cheap. He didn't want to be considered a paisa. This would be for paisa rap, Mexican rap. When you think of just Mexican itself, uh, you don't really think of like the American Mexican, like the Chicano Mexican, the, the English speaking Mexican. You think of Mexican rap, you think of like those hardcore down south rappers, you know, like the San Diego rappers, the rappers that are very close to the border, uh, the rappers that are rapping Spanish and English, you know, uh, the ones that are be bilingual in the raps. Uh, most Chicano rappers that you listen to now, they don't use Spanish. There's only a few, you know, I can say King Little G is one of them. I can say Conejo is one of them. I can say who who else? I mean, it's it's hard to think of, but when, now when you hear Chicano rappers, even from like 2010 and up, you really would not hear any of them use Spanish, you know, except for the ones that are like down south, like Mr. Night Owl, uh, Little Rob, Shadow, you know, I don't think Mr. Little One ever used Spanish, uh, but I know Shadow, I've heard Shadow, uh, Night Owl, who else down there, Little Rob. Even like the other guys like Diablo and there's a few other ones that are down down there that will use like the Spanglish. Uh, so that's what Mexican rap sounds like. Chicano rap sounds more like American Mexican rap. But let's go. I know. So she's like, fuck it. This little section is going to be called the Chicano rap section. So I guess, you know, me, f f before knowing this, I always thought that term came from the homies from San Diego, you know? And, um, or it was birthed over there or, or, and exactly why I said down South, he said that he thought the word came from a uh, San Diego. First, they got a park down there called Chicano Park. Second of all, they're all about the Brown Prider movement because they're very close to the border. You know, all the rappers that are right there in San Diego either have family in TJ or go to TJ. So they're like very bilingual with the Spanish and the English because they were born and raised around a lot of paisas. You know, so maybe that's why he thought the word Chicano came from San Diego. You know, but that goes for like all border towns. All border towns uh, have that bilingual uh, English-Spanish heritage, like hardcore. You know, sometimes they'll even speak more Spanish than English because uh, they're so close to the border. But let's go. Something like that, you know. I just always thought that, well, I, I guess everybody's going to have their opinion of it. 
of where it came from, but but I thought I'd just share that with you. And again, here we go. So then Chicano rap comes out, you know, I'm doing my shit. See, like me, it's been like this. For Chicano rap, I've always been too hip hop. For hip hop, they look at me like, oh, that fool's too banged out. That fool's Chicano rap. So I always been like, like, I wouldn't say that I've been in limbo, but I've, I've always been in my own lane, you know? Like, I've always been, like, I've always had my own place in this shit, you know? Which is not here and it's not there. It's, like, right here, you know? So, I've always had, like, mixed feelings about it. But, like, so, but if someone banged on fucking Chicano rap, yeah, I'm gonna fucking get in it or whatever the fuck or, or but... But I feel like, like, it was a good thing for a, for a, for a little while, you know. But all the all these like fucking whack ass rappers started coming in, and like not really no skills e, and they found somewhere where they could like, you know, like, be at, cause nobody else cared about it. And right, what he's saying is that. Chicano rap for a long time was making money, right? Like with the whole high power. High power made a lot of money. Uh, Royalty, the low profile made a lot of money. Uh, Little Rob made money. Conejo made money. Uh, there was only like a chosen few that made money off Chicano rap. The rest of them that were trying to make money really just came and fucked it up with their sorry ass raps, their sorry ass dress code, their sorry ass gimmicks, their sorry ass marketing. And yet, they still were able to make some CDs, flip a couple of them, make a few thousand bucks, call themselves Chicano rappers, and fuck it up for the ones that actually had good marketing, good skills, good raps, good dress code, etc., etc. You know, and now, because of those bad apples, those sorry-ass rappers, when you think of Chicano rap, that's who you think of. You think of those sorry-ass motherfuckers. So when somebody gets, just put it to you like this, right? Some mainstream rapper gets a hold of Conejo CD, right? He listens to it without without looking at the photo. He likes it. Like, you know what? This shit's fucking hard. Who is it? Oh, his name's Conejo. Oh, he's a Chicano rapper? Nah, I'm cool. Get that shit out of here. Just because of the just because of the the baggage that Chicano rap carries. Sorry to say, but that's what it is. When you think of Chicano rap, you think of a cholo with long socks, bald head, you know. ABC rhymes and the word Mr. or Little in the front. Sorry, that's just what it sounds like. That's why when I say all these new rappers that are coming out that say the N word, they got the face tattoos, that don't have the dress code like that, that uh that actually not gonna lie, look like Swifty Blue, look like Money Bag Suede or whatever his fucking name is, uh they're actually moving units and going somewhere because they don't look like Chicano rap. They're gangster rappers. Sorry to say, but that's what they are. You know, and I hope they don't label themselves Chicano rap because if they do, they're going to block themselves off from making big moves. You know, but that's the way it is. But let's keep going. They had a little platform, so they were right there. And little by little, you know, yeah, they got the money to feed their families and to do all these things. But little by little... They fucked off the game. And now, La Neta, I feel like homies are embarrassed of that uh, embarrassed of that title. That's why you hear fools like, shit, I ain't Chicano rap. And nah, like, nobody wants to be Chicano rap because it just, it's like a, like, it got some bad name. It got some bad rap, you know? Y este, so, you know, that's my point of view on, on, on Chicano rap. And then, like, Prime, he, he's on the on the interview with American Cholo, and he said Chicano rap is dead. And in a sense, it is. You know, I've always felt that every time I jump back into the game, like, the fucking game was on life support. When I came home in 2018, I felt like the game was, was on life support, and I came home, and motherfuckers were excited, and G-Raps is home, and, and all that shit. You know, he... he and you know me, I've, I've always like, like um, like pressed, like pressed the line, you know. Like, I just been always real competitive and and drop more music than everybody and 
and I, you know, I just, I write a lot and I record a lot and shit like that, you know? So I've always like pressed up on the homies in, in that sense. So I feel like that, what the homies call that, has been on life support many times. And that's by, that's by the own homies doing that. You know, the whack homies just. I think he's talking about the times that by being competitive, is the times that he beef with like high power, he beef with criminal and all that, right? That fueled a uh, good rap because, you know, Chicano rap, nobody was paying attention to it. It was just your ABC rhymes. And here comes Conejo dissing the whole fucking world. And now everybody's watching, trying to get a response or listening or waiting for a response from whoever he dissed. So it created uh, people to watch and listen, right? So by him saying it was on life support, it really makes sense because I can guarantee you a lot of you guys were paying attention throughout the beef with High Power and and uh, Conejo. You know, I know I was. Uh, I have a lot of those CDs uh, because I like I liked that type of fucking, you know, uh, rap. You know, it, it creates it creates a, 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 a sport. It's like a sport, right? Your team versus my team. You know, uh, your crew versus my crew, and it, it really pulls you in, you know. But then when that shit stops, it just goes back to whatever they're doing, whatever the, the, this guy is doing. And sometimes it's like, I ain't trying to hear that shit, you know. I ain't trying to hear that shit. So, you know, salute. Salute to Conejo for doing that. Fucking making trash-ass music, you know. And who knows, maybe somebody watching this and probably be like, man, Conejo make trash-ass music, but... I make Conejo music, you know, I make my music and shit, I don't give a fuck what, what it is or, or, or what they think it is or what it, what they think it should be, you know, I do my shit my way and, and I'm gonna keep it like, keep it like that, cause I've always, you know, I've always done it like that, you know. So let me say this, uh, I really like Conejo, you know, I don't think people give him his flowers as much as they should, but he just said right now that uh, people might think that Conejo is garbage, right? Uh, I actually think he's very skilled. I like his music. Uh, even though people might not like him, he has a fucking great story. A story that a lot of people uh, don't have. Uh, he's been out there. He's lived life, regardless of whether whatever the fuck you call living life. But he has a story to tell. Now, I will say, I don't listen to Conejo no more. Uh, his music takes me to a dark past that I don't want to be remembered of. I look at music like chapters in my life, right? Chapter 1 has a certain type of sound. Chapter 2, uh, a different type of sound, and so forth and so forth. His chapter, for me, when I used to bump Conejo, takes me to a dark place in my life that I don't want to be remembered of. I'll hear it every so often, but not too much no more. But uh, Conejo, needs a dis he deserves his flowers as being a rap legend. So shout out to Conejo. Let's keep going. So is it dead? Possibly. Um, who's to blame? We can't. Point the finger, first the way, first the way, first the way. But the fools that ruined it know who the fuck they are, you know, with their fucking trash ass music. And 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 now like the question, like some fools be like, Nah, Conejo's the king of Chicano rap. You know, I'm honored when I, I feel cool when they say that. Whatever, I I don't. Everybody want to be the king, you know. Everybody want to be the king of L.A., the king of New York, the king of their 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 area their section and shit but to me the king of chicano rap has always been and will always be um little rob check this out i'm gonna kill it right there because he said what i wanted to hear the reason that he says little rob and i'll say this as well little rob looks like chicano rap sounds like chicano rap acts like chicano rap and been chicano rap since the beginning uh Chicano, uh, Chicano rap, when I first listened to Chicano rap, it was the Crazy Life album by Little Rob. And then it followed up with Natural High by Little Rob. Uh, those albums right there are classic Chicano rap. Uh, and Little Rob has been on mainstream radio. He has been on other big artists' uh, feature songs. He has been, uh, you know, media runs, radio, the whole works. He's been everywhere, right? And to this day, he still looks the same, acts the same, talks the same, and raps the same. You know, I won't say that his music is A1 right now. I don't listen to, to him right now. 
Uh, those are the only two albums that I like from him. But if 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 you're just thinking of Chicano rap in the whole, not thinking of like uh, what's going on right now, just thinking of what Chicano rap means, it would have to be Little Rob. It would have to be Little Rob, and I would probably put up there like Night Owl, you know. Uh, but I think Little Rob will take uh, that belt from Night Owl. I think Night Owl can rap better. I like Night Owl more. But I think uh, Little Rob just uh, is all in one. He's all in one, right? But uh, I'll tell you this. I'm going to pull up a post real quick that we saw, that I saw of uh, King Little G saying that he's the king of Chicano rap on the food community. So shout out to the food community. They show number love. Uh, if you guys don't follow them, make sure you do so. But let's let's watch. Let's read this post real quick. All right. So check this out. It reads like this: I'm down to freestyle both of y'all. Money at the same time. Conejo and Little Rob. Respectfully, check the numbers. Uh, King Little G said that. Listen, I fuck with King Little G. His music is fucking lit, right? Uh, but I don't consider a King Little G Chicano rap. I think he surpassed that. I think that fool already made it out the box. You know, there's a box where all the Chicano rappers are inside. And once you get out the box, there's no going backwards. And I think that King Little G already made that push. He already made it outside the box. I consider him just a rapper. And uh, I don't think, I don't know why he would want to be considered the king of Chicano rap. You know, uh, but just based off like looks. King Little G don't look like Chicano rap. Little Rob does. You know, stereotypical Chicano rap. Uh, but if King Little G wants to be the king of Chicano rap, if you want to look at the numbers, he probably not lying. He probably not lying. You know, but like I said, I don't consider King Little G Chicano rap. I consider him just rap. You know, boy's doing his thing. Uh, he's out to gain the bag. And really pushing for the Southsiders. And that I could respect all day long. Uh, so shout out to King Lil G. But other than that, check this out. We're going to kill this video. We're laying. Call it a day. Uh, shout out to these three legends. Little Rob, uh, King Lil G, and Conejo. You know, they are in three separate lanes. You know what I mean? Uh, Little Rob, Chicano rap to the heart. Conejo, to me, he's like a, a, a metaphors, lyrical, you know, fucking... New York subway rapper, and I say that in a good way. And King Little G to me is like, uh, you know, he's out here rapping for the South Side, uh, looking like 2023 and not looking like 1993. Uh, so salute to all of them. If you guys don't follow them, make sure you do so. Other than that, uh, I hope you guys like this video. I'm Blue Devil. This has been a Hater World production, and we out.